E W S. The overnight underground news. First, the headlines. Gas prices look good. Now we're cooking with evil gas. Brady bounces from Boston. Despite the plague, Baltimore does its part by keeping the murder rate up. The Senate passes the coronavirus emergency bill. Did you say $1,000? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I can pay all my bills. Millennials might not be so safe from COVID-19. It is no longer a safe space for me. And England clamors for free porn. I'm John Ford, and here's today's Overnight Underground News. First, let's start with the good news. Good news, everyone! In some parts of the U.S., it's expected that gas prices could fall below a dollar a gallon. All this due to what is being called a perfect storm of factors. A recent increase in production and the dramatic decrease in demand caused by coronavirus. Sure, not much petrol usage when you're confined to the same four walls for days, weeks, and possibly months on end. Of course, if you do live in California, you would still be paying close to two bucks a gallon, even if the cost of a gallon of gas went to zero. By the way, the last time the average price of gas was under a buck was 1979. Pepperidge Farm remembers. In other good news, experts say there may soon be a ton of toilet paper available in stores. Why? It's simple supply and demand economics. Who needs to buy toilet paper when you got a year's worth sitting in your garage? But Americans may see some shortages of some food in their grocery aisles, especially on staples like milk, eggs, cheese, bread, and meat. You should have no difficulty finding an ample supply of creamed eels and cartons of corn dog. The bottom line is, we're not going to starve. The U.S. supplies a massive amount of food. Just don't look for your favorite brand of pasta from Italy or cheese from France. You might not find it. Tom Brady is no longer a patriot. He abandoned the New England ship and is reportedly headed south and joined the Pirates, uh, Buccaneers, for the low, low price of roughly 30 million bucks a year. Brady gets to go to Florida and play for the Newark of the microwave state, Tampa Bay. Now, here's to the Sunshine State. Right, yeah. Here's to all that gorgeous action, FLA. Of course, this assumes that we will have actual pro football games in the next couple of years. At this point, who the hell knows? Meanwhile, in Baltimore... The mayor took to the media to beg and threaten its law-abiding citizens to stop shooting each other. I want to reiterate how completely unacceptable the level of violence is we have seen recently. We will not stand for mass shootings and the increase in crime. We're dealing with the COVID virus. And those of you who want to continue to shoot and kill people in this city, we're not going to tolerate it. We're going to come after you and we're going to get you. We cannot clog up our hospitals with their beds, with people who are being shot senselessly, because we're going to need those beds for people who might be infected with the COVID virus. The mayor of Balmer asking taxpayers to stay home and put away their guns so the hospital beds can be used for the plague. Still, the weather outlook looks good for the city. It expects sunshine and a high of 80 for the first day of spring, but with an increasing chance of murder. I'd never turn a gun on a human being. My husband, on the other hand... Yesterday, the Senate passed the coronavirus emergency bill and sent the law along for the president to sign. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. The legislation provides paid sick and family leave for some in the U.S. Efforts are currently underway to send a third bill to the Hill, providing a larger relief measure that could total $1 trillion. The Senate overwhelmingly approved the relief bill by a vote of 90 to 8. Wait, what? There were six senators who voted no. We must do something about this immediately, immediately, immediately. Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Get the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. Could you imagine waking up from a coma right about now and being told that an obnoxious third-rate game show host leads the nation, Tom Brady is playing for the Buccaneers. Oh, and by the way, there's a global pandemic. No, I don't think so. In related news, two members of Congress have tested positive for COVID-19. Mario Diaz-Belart and Ben McAdams announced Wednesday evening that they have tested positive for the virus. You know, it's just too damn bad they canceled Saturday Night Live. They could have done one hell of a skit with Congress in gimp suits. That would have been pri- that would have been priceless. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Here's today's Sound Bites feature, a bunch of self-centered college kids. Yes, I know that was redundant. Whining and crying about, no, not their student debt, 
but that their spring break in Florida was being rained on by coronavirus. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Like, it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. And we need to address that. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party, so it's kind of disappointing. I'm in trying to get drunk before everything closes. It sucks. And I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're having day parties all day. We're just living for the moment. In related news, it's now believed that those young whippersnappers may be at bigger risk than previously believed. For quite a while, millennials and youngins have been a little smug over their chances of being whacked by the plague. Now it looks like it might bite them in the ass. Is there an app for kissing my shiny metal ass? Several! Ooh. It seems that in Italy and France, more millennials caught the plague than anticipated. There are concerning reports coming out of France and Italy about some young people getting seriously ill and very seriously ill in the ICUs. We think part of this may be that people heeded the early data that the elderly or those with pre-existing medical conditions were at particular risk. It may have been that the millennial generation, our largest generation, our future generation, there may be disproportional number of infections among that group. Dr. Deborah Birix, Birix, whatever, at yesterday's White House Daily Briefing. Not to be outdone by the coronavirus, the Times of Israel reports a plague of locusts that is set to descend on the Middle East, just in time for Passover. Have a happy Passover. Okay? Thank you. Yep, that's a real story. Yes. Italy, Spain, and France are now getting, no, not the plague, free porn hub. And the Brits are feeling a little left out. And according to the Daily Star, are demanding the porn website extend the offer to them. The site has been surging. Uh, pumping. Uh, you get the idea. Its usage since the planet has been on lockdown. You know, there may be some science to this stuff. According to some doctors, masturbating during coronavirus lockdown could boost your immune system. Of course, this was reported by the Daily Star, so take it with a grain of salt. It does seem, though, that in a volatile market, the only stable commodity is porn. That is, unless your commodity is Playboy. It seems that after 66 years, Playboy is ceasing operations, citing coronavirus as the cause. The shiny fold-out pages are no more for Hefner's smut rag. The spring 2020 issue, which arrives on U.S. newsstands, will be the final printed publication. Hey, now we're talking. Our unabashed dictionary defines IUD as love springs internal. <laughs> I don't get it. Playboy says they will continue only as a digital download. N E W S. A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.